Centaur project is a European research and innovation action in the area of rescue robotics. It's motivated by events like the Fukushima earthquake and tsunami where a nuclear power plant went out of control and everyone was asking where are the robots. So the objective of the project is to develop a robot that can go in a dangerous environment instead of a human so that a human operator is present in the robot and can manipulate objects, uh, use tools, can also uh, locomote using driving or uh, making steps in order to uh, rescue the situation. The Centauro project uh, has partners from three countries in Europe. We are one of the partners of the Centauro Consortium with the main task to develop, actually to design and develop the hardware uh, components in the entire platform. Uh, so basically starting from um, the basic components like actuators, sensors, uh, mechanical uh, links, we have the task to design them and then fabricate, assemble and make the robot operational for the rest of the group to, to use it to, in, in, in the trials during the project. Our team uh, is leading the operator interface work package. So what we do, uh, we are uh, we have built an exoskeleton that is an advanced uh, human robot interface in order to remotely control the Centauro robot. This means that the operator can remotely feel in terms of uh, vision, in terms of touch, can have a, a physical interaction uh, like being remotely at the place of the robot. We are now uh, two years uh, and uh, eight months into the project and perform the first uh, evaluation of the integrated Centauro system. So many developed uh, components uh, come together. We have the role as an end user because in our company we drive a complete fleet of different robots and so we are very interested to see the development in the Centauro project. In, in general, the situation in emergency response is that you don't know exactly the job to do. So, from my point of view, it's necessary to have a variety of robots, from a very small one to go into pipes up to a very big one, and also to have robots with tracks and robots able to walk. So, you can respond on any application which is in the field of emergency. Our goal is to develop a system with capabilities that go well beyond the current state of the art, both in terms of locomotion capabilities and also manipulation capabilities. For example, also bimanual manipulation of larger objects or fixing one object and then using a tool with the other hand. 